The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti was released in early 2019 built on the Turing architecture, but without RTX features. It packs 1536 CUDA cores, 6GB of GDDR6 memory, and a 192-bit memory interface, and a boost clock around 1770MHz. Back then, it was the go-to choice for 1080p gamers who didn't care about ray tracing, but in 2025 is this card still relevant? Today we'll test the GTX 1660 Ti in modern games, look at synthetic benchmarks, power draw, and see if it's still worth keeping. So starting off the benchmarks for this 1660 Ti, I'm going with the Superposition benchmark I'm running at 1080p Extreme on DirectX API. So after running the full benchmark at 1080p Extreme, we got a score of 3192 with a minimum FPS of around 19, an average of almost 24 FPS and a max of 28. So not super high, but this is definitely a very hard benchmark to run. The uh, max temperature got up to 75 degrees, which is pretty nice for being maxed out. The next benchmark I'm using to test this GPU is 3D Mark Time Spy, and I'm running this at 1080p, absolutely maxed out on the graphics settings. So taking a look at the Time Spy results, our GPU got a score of 7582, and if we take a look at our GPU temperature, we hit a max of around 75 degrees Celsius, which is quite good. And I'm going to finish off with a 3D Mark Fire Strike test at 1920x1080p once again, and absolutely maxed out on the settings. Taking a look at the 3D Mark Fire Strike results, the graphics score got a 13,024 score, the physics is 7,284, and it got a combined score of 4,764. As far as our GPU temperature, it looks like we hit a max here of around 75 degrees Celsius once again. And for FPS, looks like we hit a max FPS of around 77 frames per second. Not bad at all. The GTX 1660 Ti may lack ray tracing and DLSS, but it's still a capable 1080p performer in 2025. If you already own one, you're good for another year or two. But if you're building a new PC, an AMD RX 6600 or an RTX 3060 might be a better value.